there is a buzzing. A light is buzzing. Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. This is what I like to call my foundation lip. If you guys watched YouTube about six years ago, five, six years ago, people like Jenna Marbles used to make fun of this lip because like almost every beauty guru was rocking like a foundation lip. This foundation lip is brought to you today by my LA girl, there really is something buzzing. Okay, what was my ring light? This is my LA Girl lip liner, lip pencil in the color Nude, GP712. <laughs> but I mean, it is literally foundation color. There you go, can't see it, Nude, foundation color Nude. And then I paired it with my Chanel Rouge Coco Gloss in the 726. This is the color icing. No need to explain. It is the color of icing. I am here today with a collection video. This awesome collection video idea was started by my mini, my friend Mini, Minx for All. Hi babe. She is my mini because I have met her. When I was in San Diego, I shout out to San Diego, I met Minnie and she is absolutely gorgeous. She came up with this video idea and I think it is genius. It is not a tag, it's just a collection video. But the way she did it was her full black handbag, luxury handbag collection, all black bags, and then she ranked them in order of use. Mine is gonna be a little bit difficult for that. I am gonna do it in use of everything obviously however listen pearl chanel is not a black bag to begin with okay it's like ornate it's a little bit like i want to say minordier but it's not it doesn't get used okay so it sits there some i just acquired and i haven't had the chance to use it so obviously they're last but i'm gonna mix that in with like actual ones i use least to most that's the way we're gonna do it. My first up is this guy. And I actually just said in my recent get ready with me that, uh, shout out to a Lux YouTuber, Lexi. <laughs> Hi Lexi. I'll link her channel below. She mentioned in her wish list that this was on her wish list and it made me just be like, oh my God, the cool cats like vintage. Look, you know what? I've decided I'm gonna be really honest. I'm actually gonna be really honest these days in my get in the same get ready with me. I was really honest about my Hermes Kelly bag. Some of you were a bit shocked, but I'm gonna be honest in this. And I'm gonna say what probably a lot of Lux, Lux YouTubers don't say is that the reason I don't use this is because something better came along. That sounds awful, but it probably is. It's the replacement mentality. I am going to be brutally honest. You get newer bags, newer collections, uh, different vibe, more modern vibe. The vintage might be out for you. So that is why this doesn't get used. Uh, I have smaller bags than this and I say it's size, but really something like new and shiny came along and took took the limelight and that is the truth this is the chanel classic double flap so it's a classic bag because it has two flaps in the black lamb burgundy lining gold plated hardware they do not do gold plated anymore and it is in the small medium 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 small medium medium large size sorry and i got this off japan uh, consignment store and it was my first ever Chanel anything. See, this is going to be difficult. Okay, next up least used is because I haven't cracked into it yet. But if you just watched my unboxing, my amazing unboxing of this beautiful bag, this is my new Chanel 19 in the well, we say small, but medium because it's medium, large, maxi. So the medium size in the black uh, goat skin so it's a little bit shinier than the original lamb skin the black goat skin this is a 20s collection somebody said oh it's not 20s like it's it's 
from like 19 but no they rem even though it's the same model and the same black with this hardware they remake it each season so this is actually a current season bag like the brand new version of it alrighty I keep looking down because there's bags on the floor I'm gonna say my next least used is this which again is really sad it's sad I have been sitting on the idea of parting with this Chanel Urban Spirit backpack in the calf skin leather in black with gold hardware and this is the large size simply because of its function for me personally this is such a fussy functional bag the the way you get into it with the flap and then the drawstring which I never close and a lot of people that have this bag don't close either but the way you get into it and then have to push down to sort of close it in a rush with two kids you know under four it's difficult it is difficult and it's fussy versus a palm springs which is a zipper which isn't fussy obviously because it's just you're just doing this motion it's just fussy and I don't enjoy it I don't and do not enjoy the bag that is it I enjoyed purchasing it I got it from Sydney boutique and I I was floored that my essay could even find it and it's great I just don't use it I don't it just sits on my shelf and look at it it's in like perfect condition still got really great structure they tend to break in structure and the back straps are lovely as well you got the back pocket but I don't use it and that's the reason why you know it's really difficult <laughs> it's really difficult to do this in order <laughs> because you're just like thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it. but this will have to come up next in in like being honest to myself I have used this since some of these other bags but in being honest to myself I don't reach for it I, that probably the last time I used this because I forced myself to use it. This is a Chanel GST or Grand Shopper Tote in black caviar leather with gold hardware. This was an influenced purchase by Miss Trina. Trina used to be in the luxury community. She no longer does videos. But when she showed this bag and showed how she packed it and just did collections and comparisons. It, I, it was at a stage where I was starting to purchase more Chanel and I just, like there was something the way she spoke about the GST, the way she showed it, I just like, I just fell in love. The sentimental feeling towards this bag is huge. The size and shape of this bag is clearly a box but the proportion of the straps is probably not right so they are too long to be a crook of the arm like crook of the elbow bag to look proportionate like a birkin a birkin sits perfectly in the crook of your arm this sits too long and then they're too short to sit on your shoulder without it popping off slipping off because of the width and boxingness of the bag. Does that make sense? You kind of end up just sort of throwing it over one shoulder like so if you're in a rush because the, I don't know getting the two together and the layout and the probably the width between the two straps if that makes sense. It's just yeah it's kind of awkward if that makes sense. This is a great back the the um Mona Lisa like the big moon pocket is great because it fits a ton uh, but yeah that is my next up least used. Choose between these two but I think this takes the next position of least used which is wild because this is a holy grail bag for a ton of people. Uh, this wasn't like a holy grail bag for me it was just a great find on fashion file and it kind of couldn't pass it up so this is the chanel jumbo flap not classic because it is a single flap the jumbo flap in black caviar leather 
with gold hardware and uh, yeah amazing bag because of its size without the double flap you can fit a lot more in it and the weight I would tell you if you were strongly contemplating paying today's retail price for a jumbo double classic double flap and you're doing it because it's holy grail or whatever and you want to use it every day and you're so excited definitely definitely go into the boutique see if they have one in stock and just honestly go back like every day and try it on because it is hair V heavy and not to mention that these are full woven chain strap and they dig in and it's weighty when this bag which is a single flap is full to the brim it's still weighty it's a heavy bag it's a full leather bag you're going to notice with this collection that is predominantly chanel and that is because i buy classic chanel and that's usually black i did stray and buy a lot of the pinks as you can see but originally classic black this is gonna be a surprise because this is next and it's a surprise because the next bag that I use more than this will probably shock you not shock you but yeah and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm gonna be so honest I say this is a forever bag for me I say that because of every reason of how I got it the sentimental value what it was for the hunt for this bag. So this is the Chanel Le Boy bag in the medium or old medium size, the original medium size in calf skin leather and ruthenium aged hardware with the large quilting. So it's big, large, double stitch quilting look. And I wanted this exact bag, this exact one. It was the biggest hunt ever. The reason I don't use this bag is because it is fussy okay it's a really fussy bag great bag great function the clip itself is easy to use this is a great space bag you can fit your essentials and a little bit more this is just not a grab and go bag that is a hundred percent the truth it is not grab and go it the what what you use it for is not a simple uh kind of everyday or that's not true because even if it's not an everyday bag, I still would grab it. This is just not easy. Does that make sense? The chain, the thread through the chain, you're grabbing it. It's it's just not, it's not easy. I would probably prefer to grab the jumbo, which has got the double chain over this. It's, you know, you've got kids, you're picking them up, you're flinging it. It's, it's just not, it's not an easy grab and go bag, if that makes sense. It's You've got to really be in the mindset to take on that, you're, okay, I'm going to have this all day or for a couple of days. I've got to, you know, manage the chain. I'll keep it on the long setting. You don't have a short handle. And I will commit to this bag. It's kind of a pre-thought kind of bag if that makes sense it's not just sort of like oh i'm gonna grab it and run out the door so like i said you most probably will be shocked because i use this <laughs> i use this more than that le boy bag that chanel le boy bag oh my gosh this is my senrev mini maestro bag in the black croc emboss leather this has to be the most beautiful croc embossed leather I've seen. I haven't seen in person the Givenchy, like the Antigona comes in a croc embossed. I haven't seen that in person, but this is just so amazing. I wanted this in some SLGs as well, but they were actually out of stock. I actually would love this bag in the croc embossed in like the forest green color. Honestly, this is a grab and go bag, okay? You've got your top handle, you can put it on your shoulder with this strap, you can quickly pull the straps through, no fussing, no strap changing, and you've got a backpack. That's the only way I can explain the boy versus something like this. This is a non-fuss, all-weather, throw everything in there it also fits devices ipads things like that and you don't you don't how do i how do how do i how do i explain it you don't have to think it through okay i have to throw an honorable mention in here because a it is black 
B, it is designer. And that is my new briefcase. This is my Karl Lagerfeld. It's not actually a briefcase, it's a tote bag on, on their site or on Farfetch, which is where I got it. It's a tote bag. However, guys, this is the best, best layout for a briefcase, okay? You have top handles that double as a shoulder, and then you have a detachable and adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. You have a removable detachable little pouch, like the never full pouch that goes in the front. I just leave it there like so. I don't attach it. There's a strap, like a strap you can attach it. And then inside you have all compartments that lay out like a briefcase. I keep everything in here, all of my wires for my computer. You can see my tripod, my vlogging camera, both of my Louis Vuitton cases in there, a file, uh, like a folder, Filofax, and it holds everything. I bang it around. It is full pebbled leather. It's so beautiful. And, um, and it's Karl Lagerfeld. I got this for such a deal of Farfetch. It comes in obviously the black with this kind of taupe and then it comes in the taupe with the black pouch as well. Definitely a great honorable mention because I was hunting, hunting for a new briefcase like crazy guys. I, I bought a lot of Louis Vuitton, like three Louis Vuitton and they went back because I just was like, this is not the vibe. This is not what I want. This is exactly what I wanted. Okie doke, where are we up to? All right, next least used. The last time from when I got this and unboxed it with you guys that I used it, and I used it for the whole weekend that I was there, was our trip down to Melbourne. My mum and I had to see my godmother and my god sister, and that was just before the lockdown. And I used it the whole time I was there interchanging with a few other bags, but mostly this. And this is the Louis Vuitton uh, Spring Street bag in the black. And this is called, a Asabi told me, debossed. Debossed vernis leather, not embossed, because it's coming out in the black with the monogram and the white epi. If you guys saw this unboxing, I went nuts over this bag because of the price I paid for this. This is now price increased to over 3,000, I think 3,200, 3,100. And uh, I think, or maybe even more. And I got this for 2,829 and I was shocked that it wasn't already over 3,000. Here is its strap, its shoulder or crossbody strap. With the, it's a thicker strap with the white epi. It is so beautiful. I get, I have got good use out of this. I've used it here at home as well. It's just a gorgeous little bag and a real little showstopper as well. Right down to our last two, kind of a toss up who the winner is, but I think I know. Second to last, this guy. This is my Chanel rectangular mini flap in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware and the burgundy lining. When I saw this bag come up on fashionfile.com, which is where I got it, I knew straight away that this was the year, the year of this, the season that this one came out in was the same as a square mini in this, in the same collection that I had felt in the Bondi Chanel. It's a square mini and I remember sitting there and feeling it with my essay saying, this is so thick and well made. The own, and yes, it's caviar, but I cannot explain how beautiful, thick, good quality, like all the burgundy and everything, it just feels so beautiful and so well made. This is obviously a downsize, but do you know what? This versus the boy, I tell you what, it's so much easier. Even though it's a downsize, you're not, you're not like, you're not fighting anything. It's really nice to wear. It's really enjoyable. I'm taller. I can crossbody this. It's 
an easy bag, like carefree, almost like your hands are free and you don't, there's no fuss, there's no bother. Does that make sense? So this is definitely second to last, most used in my black handbag collection. And the winner of the day of this black handbag collection is this guy. This is my Chanel Affinity bag in the medium size, black, matte black caviar leather. This I raved about this leather when I unboxed it. Raved. It is so beautiful. It's just absolutely matte. The way you're seeing it, like how it's almost like velvet, is exactly how it is in person. And then it's got the champagne gold hardware, like so. It's got the burgundy interior. You have the long strap for your shoulder. It's got a leather brake. You have the front pocket here and you have quite a large compartment on the back here as well. The only cons about this bag I will say is because of its layout, having this front compartment pocket here, it is poorly weighted, very poorly weighted. There's been many videos about that. You see, it falls forward. Definitely when it sits down on a flat surface it falls forward, especially when it has things in it, and that is because of this pocket. However, this shoulder strap, when it is on your shoulder, because it is poorly weighted and it leans forward on your body, it pops off your shoulder. Um, especially if you've got thighs and booty like me, it tends to just pop off all the time. It's not the most comfortable bag to carry because of that feature, but the added feature of the top handle, which is permanently um, structured like that, is just too good to pass up. So this is our winner today. Thank you again to Minnie for this uh, video idea. I think it is really, really great, especially to rank them as well. It's quite helpful just to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Giving a thumbs up is so good on YouTube now. It is just showing YouTube that we are in good standing. You are enjoying our content. You don't have to comment, but you can hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you should do so, guys, that would be great. There is a button below. I would super appreciate that. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace.